to the stage. Uh, I consider this brother a comrade. He's been showing mad love to the Rebel Diaz Arts Collective. And I see him on the front lines of a lot of the student movements going on. I want to bring up this brother. You know what I'm saying? You may have seen him walking around with the afro. You know what I'm saying? Bringing it back, holding it down. I want y'all to make some noise for J.S.B. Before I start, I want to say it's an honor to be here celebrating Amir Baraka's legacy as a poet. Um, and real quick, uh, just to announce real quick, there's going to be a benefit concert for the Morales Shakur Center on March 8th at 5 p.m. And that's going to be in Harlem. Uh, you'll hear more about it. But I uh, appreciate it again being here. Thank you all for coming. So let's start. All right. All right. So th I'm going to start off with a, a little chant before we begin. So can everyone who's not, who's not standing, stand up please, or rise, real quick. All right. So we all know when we are in school, you know, we, we sing the Pledge of Allegiance. But uh, I kind of gave a little twist to it. So, uh, you know, put your hand on your chest like we used to in, in kindergarten. All right. Now repeat after me. I pledge resistance, I pledge resistance, resistance to the flag, to the flag of the terrorist state of America, of the terrorist state of America, and to the dictatorship, and to the dictatorship for which it oppresses, for which it oppresses one tyranny, one tyranny under God, under God, unequal, unequal with slavery, with slavery and injustice, and injustice for most. For most. Thank you. <laughs> all right, cool. All right, next piece is going to be about uh, Columbus. We all learned about Columbus when we were in school, and we learned about him discovering America, but that's, you know, not very true. So uh, if you want, you can meditate on this piece. It's going to be, uh, I, want you, I want to take you back. Uh, to a, a time when, you know, this, this terrorist invaded our island. It's called I Was There. I was there. Before they came, I was there. I was there before they came on their ships, on their rafts, on their boats with their idol written across the creaking wood, Santa Maria. Ladies and gentlemen, there is nothing saintly about a conquest when, while you carry bodies upon bodies of dying old women, dying young men, and dying old souls were born again as newborns, cycled in a cage of darkening insanity and contagious psychosis, coughing, sneezing, bless yous, and vomits. As young boys and girls wondered when the sun would come out as the ships crossed the horizon at noon, I was there. Before they came, I was there on the depths of the forest, hunting for my next meal, when the only things that mattered were sex, food, and herbs, where the only saints and blessings around were the birds. It was a place where survival was merciless, yet comforting. A time when I understood the real meaning of a bear hug before they came. Before they came with their plague-infested bodies, coughing, sneezing, bless yous and vomit, begging for a place to stay, begging for some food to eat, we gave them everything. We gave them too much, but we didn't know what too much was. We had no word for sharing because sharing was the only act that there was. We had no idea that they would. I was there. I was there before they came with their guns and their war cries. I was there before war. I was there before guns. A time when there was no word for love because that was the only feeling that there was. I was there before feelings. Before our ancestors could feel the pain of murder and genocide. When Cristobal Colón invaded our islands and inflated our needs and desires with dogs that ripped the skin off our stomachs and machetes that cut off the hands. When we disappointed the navigators. Our heads when we got in their way. The blood of vengeance pounced on the grounds of fearlessness, and I was there. 
I was there when our great great grandmothers and fathers of 20 gener generations past said, enough is enough. When the bloodshed sank heavier than their body weight. When the bare chested mothers and mothers of their children were raped raw by infected Europeans, they knew something had to be done. I saw Caonabo and Enriquillo fight back the Spaniards. I saw these caciques of our island organized to throw out these trespassers.